Hi, Sherryman Recap here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2017 American thriller movie starring a beautiful actress named Bella Thorne, called You Get Me. The movie starts with Tyler, a high school student who is currently in love with his beautiful girlfriend Allison. He lives with his younger sister Tiffany. His family is financially well off, but his life has changed to be more colorful since he met Allison at his school. Unfortunately, all this time he never invites her to meet his parents because they are rarely at home and very busy at work. They have close friends at school, named Gil and Lydia. Tyler also works as a waiter at a cafe near the beach, where he and his friend often play together at the beach. One night, they want to go to their friend's party. There, Allison accidentally runs into an old friend in San Francisco, named Chase, and she intends to introduce him to Tyler. At some point, Tyler and Chase are talking together. Chase reveals that in San Francisco, Allison used to be a bad girl who likes to party and would often drink and sleep with other men. Tyler immediately gets angry because Allison has never told him about her past, leading the couple to break up. Disappointed, he decides to leave the party, leaving Allison alone. He meets a beautiful and very rich woman, named Holly. She invites him to drive around with her luxury car. He accepts the offer and starts to tell her that he just broke up with his girlfriend. She tries to calm him down gradually, ends up with partying and sleeping together at her huge and wonderful house. The next morning, Tyler wakes up and goes straight to Holly in the living room with some photos on the floor. She starts telling her family story that her father had died long ago and left a great deal of wealth, while her stepmother travels a lot, causing her to often feel lonely during this time. Right now, she's very happy that they can spend the rest of the weekend together at her house. They are bonding all day, and Tyler is tempted by Holly's seduction for sex at night, seemingly forgetting all about Allison. After they are satisfied, he realizes that he has to go home because his little sister is home alone. He says that the weekend is very special before leaving Holly's house. When he gets home, he checks his cell phone and finds that he has received a lot of messages from his closest people, including Allison telling him where to meet her to solve their problem a few days earlier. The following day, he rushes to Allison's house. Allison apologizes for her behavior and recounts that while in San Francisco, she was affected by her bad association there. That's why her family chooses to move here, hoping to live a better life. They finally admit and forgive each other's mistakes back then, and they choose to get back together again in the end. They also promise not to keep secrets from each other. However, Tyler seems to remember his mistake for sleeping with Holly last weekend, but he still chooses to keep the secret from Allison. In the new semester at school, there is a new student who enters Tyler's class, and it turns out to be Holly. She reveals that now she and her stepmother move in the area forever and wants to surprise him that she goes to the same class with Tyler. After class ends the group gathers in the cafeteria for lunch, and suddenly Holly comes and introduces herself to join them. A panicked Tyler instantly messages Holly to meet him downstairs near the elevator later. They finally see each other after school. At first, she thinks that he wants to make out with her, but apparently, he wants to say that he wants to break up with her because it was a mistake. Sadly, Holly threatens him that he will regret what he did last weekend. The next day, Allison and Holly decide to go to the cafe where Tyler works. There, Holly shows Allison a photo of a man whose face is invisible. Tyler is terrified that she will tell Allison about their backstreet relationship, but luckily, she still keeps the secret. Holly begins to hang out and grows closer to them by the day, she also often goes to Allison's house to chat. In the meantime, Tyler wants to confess to Allison about his affair with Holly via text, but then Holly decides to stay in Allison's house, causing him to delay telling her the secret. While Allison is sleeping, Holly secretly takes some of Allison's belongings and also a photo of Tyler with Allison. As time passes, Tyler begins to suspect that Holly is dangerous. Especially one day, when he meets her stepmother, Corinne, who reveals that Holly is taking medication for a mental disorder. She seems to have an obsession about something that she loves. Soon, Lydia becomes suspicious of Holly when she discovers Holly's lack of any social media presence. According to her, everyone must have a social media account nowadays, but oddly, she doesn't have one. Holly inadvertently overhears the conversation and feels threatened. While they are in the cafeteria, Holly intentionally brings their favorite smoothies to the table, with one specially poisoned for Lydia. Lydia instantaneously has a very severe allergic reaction after drinking the poisoned smoothie, so she has to be rushed to the hospital. Allison straightaway escorts her to the hospital while Tyler guesses that his suspicions come true. At one time, Allison tells Tyler that Holly is pregnant. He initially doesn't believe that their previous relationship could get Holly pregnant. As a good friend, Allison decides to accompany her through her difficult times. 
Holly later shows up at Tyler's house, playing with Tiffany. She tells him that she wants the two of them to get back together, but Tyler quickly takes her out by force and pushes her away from his life forever. After Tyler rebukes her, she comes to Allison's house and tells her everything that she and Tyler slept together last weekend, as well as the photo of a man that has been seen before as Tyler. At the same night, Tyler visits Lydia at the hospital to tell her that he suspects that Holly put something in Lydia's smoothie earlier. He also promises to solve all the problems by telling Allison everything he did before. The next morning, Tyler and Allison meet at the beach, where he confesses everything to her. Allison has known the truth from Holly and decides to ignore his explanation. She is very upset and states that she never wants to talk to him again before leaving him alone. At school, Holly then proceeds to get Tyler suspended from the school indefinitely by telling the teacher that he assaulted her. While on suspension, Tyler finds out from the teacher that Holly's real name is Elizabeth. Then, he looks her up online and unexpectedly discovers that she violently assaulted another female student and was committed to a mental institution for a while as a result. Now he knows why Lydia couldn't find Holly's identity earlier on the internet, because she is a dangerous person. That night, Holly quietly breaks into Allison's house. She manages to kidnap Allison and then tries to lure Tyler into her house by sending him a picture of an unconscious Allison. He plans to go there to save Allison, while texting Gil to help him there by sending Holly's home address. Meanwhile, Ali awakens to find that she has been tied up to a chair at Holly's house. Holly starts telling Allison that she's not actually pregnant. She purposely tricked her to make her feel disappointed with Tyler. Shortly after, Corinne comes home and finds Allison tied up. She attempts to rescue Allison, nevertheless Holly sneaks up behind her and suffocates her with a plastic bag, killing her. When Tyler arrives at Holly's house, he grabs a sharp iron just in case something bad happens. Then he finds an unconscious Allison with blood on her forehead, who has been tied mid-air to the ceiling. He manages to free Allison and they escape outside. Before they can get away, suddenly Holly points a gun at them. Tyler apologizes to her for everything he's done so far. Fortunately, Gil arrives at the right time from behind, but this takes Holly by surprise, causing her to shoot Tyler right in his shoulder all of a sudden. With that moment, Allison quickly takes the sharp iron which Tyler has brought to stab Holly. Tyler, who is dying, says in his heart that love is blind and love can destroy everything but he is lucky that he and Allison can survive the tragedy. They end happily, celebrating Tiffany's birthday party. At the end, Holly, who is still alive, is wheeled into the back of an ambulance and asks the paramedic man to never leave her and makes him promise. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you. For